Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to talk about something that I really hadn't even planned on, hadn't even heard of before, but definitely needs to be talked about and uh, I think you will en enjoy this. So uh, we're going to talk about brownout resets and how they can make your life miserable and what you can do to kind of mitigate when that happens. What brought on this discussion about brownout resets? Well, I went out this morning to go fly and traffic was ridiculous around here. And so I wasn't even able to get to the park that I'm in now. This is where I planned on going. So I ended up at Best Buy in their parking lot and I just thought I was just gonna fly there because I hadn't flown there in months. Then I get ready to go fly and I go to, uh, to, to plug my quad in and I'm having trouble with a stupid battery strap getting in the way. And so I'm like, plug, unplug, plug, unplug, 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 plug. And get, the battery strap keeps getting caught in between the XT60 connector there and it just like partially connects and disconnects partially and finally I get it so then I get plugged in and then I just hear the ESC tones and I don't hear the, the final bon -um, you know FC tone and I'm like well that don't sound good but that's happened before sometimes it'll happen like later and so sat it down went to arm at nothing so pick up the quad and I'm like okay maybe something went wonky when I plug it unplug it wait a minute so unplug it wait a minute plug it back in same thing Look at the FC, all the lights are on, everything looks good, just like it's supposed to. Check video, video all looks good, but it's not going to arm. And so then I'm like, okay, well, let me try the stick commands for the VTX. Let's see if it's communicating. And so then I do that, and it's not communicating. I'm like, oh, man, don't tell me my FC is like pride for some reason. So pack everything up, go home, and I'm kind of bummed thinking I'm going to have to replace an FC and that it's fried for some reason, even though it worked perfectly the, you know, the day before. So I get home, and I'm like, well, let me plug it into Betaflight, and let's just see if it recognizes it. So plug it in. Oh, recognize popped up. But then there was a little strange message. And you see it sometimes when you have a new FC, and Betaflight will pop up this little message at the beginning, and it'll say, hey, your flight controller has some presets, you know, that you need to apply to this thing before you go do anything with it. And I'm like, what? That only happens, like, when it's, like, a fresh, freshly done. And I'm like, hmm, that's kind of weird. Let me just kind of cancel that, ignore that, go on in. So I go in, and I notice a little message on the side, and it's like, you know, it's something about um, messages from the, the flight controller that it shows you on the right-hand side there that I really never noticed before, but I noticed now. And it's like, hey, I'm not seeing a gyro or, or something. I'm like, well, that's weird. Is my gyro shot? <sighs> so it sounds like my FC is shot. So now I'm like, let me go look through everything here. So I start looking through the, the configuration, look at the ports, the port's only showing like one port, and I've got like like three or four UARTs. Okay, definitely something weird going on here. And then I go down to configuration, and look over ESC, it's like not configured. What do you mean ESC is not configured? And th nothing's there. Modes, none of that. Nothing was there. Everything was like it was a fresh, plug the thing in, and you never touched it. Um, go dump the, uh, the configuration, and it's like a fresh, it's like a fresh dump. I'm like, okay, this is really weird. So I'm like, all right, let me try something. So I load up my old configuration that I'd, I'd saved and dump it back on there and go back through the cycles. Everything seems to be fine. Well, then I had to go apply because I forgot to save the stuff after I did the HT0 stuff. So I go apply the changes for HT0 for it to have the, the UART settings and everything. Apply all that, everything seems to be working. Check the quad out, it arms, all seems to be good. What the heck is going on? So I go searching. I'd seen people post about this before, like, hey, I plug my quad in, and then like it's not working, and I go plug in the beta flight and like the configuration is wiped. And I'm thinking, these people are nuts. That don't happen. No, that don't happen. And it just happened to me. And so now I'm thinking, maybe they weren't nuts. So I go looking, and sure enough, there's some you know posts about people saying that. And what it turns out is Apparently, with some of these chips, there is a thing called a brownout reset. So, like, if the voltage is too low or something, in order to protect the components, they reset the configuration on the components back to its defaults whenever it goes through this, like, low power cycle. So, what I'm thinking is, in my case, I didn't have a low battery or anything, but I, like, plug, unplug, plug, unplug, plug, unplug. And so, maybe... It didn't get all the voltage, you know, it kind of, kind of comes in 
and when I unplugged it, it saw it as low voltage and it reset it. Or maybe it was trying to write something in between there when it was plugging up. It shouldn't be, but maybe it was or something, and it caused the, the NVRAM to get corrupted. I don't know. But anyways, it's a thing. It can happen to you. It happened to me. And I thought these people were nuts. So what can you do to mitigate that? Really, there's nothing you can do to prevent it, but what you can do is what I have done now, which is after you get everything on your quad configured, everything is working, go to your CLI, do a dump, and then save that to a file. Now you've got a good configuration. So if for some reason your configuration on your board gets wiped because of one of these brownout resets, then you can reload all your configuration back up, save it back to it, and you should be good. So that is your, your tip for today. I'm going to do some flying. There's a piece of equipment over there. They're doing work on a school. They just opened it up, but they're still doing work. And I guess they brought one of the pieces of equipment down here and parked it. So I've got a new obstacle here at the park. So we're going to have some fun. And hopefully you guys enjoyed that little tip. And hopefully it comes in handy for you guys. And uh, let's go fly. Brownouts. You too can experience one just like I did. That's crazy. Didn't think they were a thing. So hopefully you kind of take that advice. Make sure you save your config out. So there's your tip. Whenever you uh, you get your config, everything's good and everything's working, save that. You know, do a dump and save that dump and put it somewhere safe so that if you experience this or if you have some other problem or if you have a flight control or fail or something like that and you've got to like reset everything on there that'll save you a ton of time and you may or may not remember all the settings that you had particularly with tuning and whatnot it can be a real pain so save your config write that out and then you can just pop back in load back in and it'll save you time in the future anyways so or if you want to build a second one you can just duplicate it boom you've got a good starting point at the very least uh, if you're using all the same components so you guys have a great day hopefully you learned something i know i definitely learned something today and i will talk to you guys tomorrow peace or the next day, or whenever the next video is.